Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit Live Special number 164, recorded August 1st, 2013. The Moto X Reveal. Breaking news on Twit Live is brought to you by Slingbox. Get your Slingbox today at Best Buy or Amazon or check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. Welcome to Twit Live Special number 164. Leo Laporte here with my buddy Guy Kawasaki. Hello, Guy. How are you? Good. I'm good. Today's an exciting day. It is very big. It was three weeks ago that uh, Lisa and I went down to Google and we saw the Moto X, and it's been the hardest thing in the world for me not to say anything about it. But finally today, August 1st, <laughs> Motorola has taken the lid off of it, and uh, we're seeing the specs. So I'm gonna. What I'd love you to do, and I know you've been doing this all day. You did a hangout uh, just before yep. this, and you're doing another hangout. In fact, people can follow you uh, on Google Plus and join those hangouts or watch those hangouts live. You're talking about this. Um, let's just run down the features of the Moto X, and I think you better than I to do that. Well, essentially, uh, you know, sort of the three key features of the phone uh, are responsiveness, personalization, and a Google experience. So in terms of responsiveness, it means things like um, your Bluetooth devices can keep it authenticated. It means that you can just you know, do this to the phone, flick it, and the camera will turn on uh, so that you're not futzing around looking for pictures. It means that when you're taking a picture, there's not a button to press. You can press anywhere and take the picture. So it's that kind of thing. Also, some of the industrial design has a really nice curved back. So I'll, I'll uh, vouch on that. It feels really good in the hand. Yeah, it yeah. really feels good in your hand. Um, so that's sort of responsiveness. We also have always on, so I can say, uh, okay, Google now, and it'll ask me, you know, what do you want to do? So here's, here's a, let me get back Does here. it, does it speak out loud? Does it say, yes, guy, what do you want? Or is it silent? It's silent until you ask it to do something. Okay. So I will say, okay, Google now, who is Leo Laporte? <laughs> Sorry. No, who, did it, who did it give you? Oh man, I don't even I'm want to not know. Sure I should tell you. Yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> okay, Google now. Who is Leo Laporte? Oh, Leo, it doesn't like you. What's... No, it works with me on uh, Chrome, so I know it works. What it does is it reads it a portion of the Wikipedia. Um, could, I'm in this really weird room here. So now, one thing I, 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 I'm going to share some of my experiences uh, with the okay. thing. A couple of the things that I thought was very interesting. First of all. Uh, when Rich was demonstrating, and, and later I got a demonstration from one of the engineers, mm -hmm. uh, it had great noise re rejection. There it was a very noisy room, lots of journalists and other people. Yes. And it, it really had, it, it has three microphones, at least uh, one of them noise, noise rejecting. Uh, but it also uh, does something that Google Glass does not do. It seems to know whose voice is whose. Yes. We were all talking. Yes. And it didn't, um, it didn't take our commands. It only took Rich's commands. Yeah, well, um, if you think about it, you know, we're trying to make this phrase, okay, Google now, turn on your phone, right? And uh, to wake it up and to like say, okay, what do you want to do? You want to navigate? You want to look for something? You want to, you know, call somebody? And so, uh, as you can imagine, if multiple people have the same phone and they say, okay, Google now, you'll be turning on each other's phones. Right. So I wouldn't say it's as strong as it's authenticating your voice. But it's highly unlikely that if I said, OK, Google, now to your phone, that it would actually turn it on and, you know, be ready to rock and roll. It was a real problem when uh, with Google Glass because you could tap it and then somebody could take over your Google Glass who's sitting next to you. And we tried that a number of times with Rich's phone and weren't able to do that. I imagine that the more you use the phone, the better it knows your voice and the more yes. likely it'll be unique to you. When you first turn it on, it probably isn't going to have that feature because <laughs> it doesn't know you from Adam. Uh, let me ask you about one of the things people were worried about, which is, is it always on? Is it always listening to me? Two problems with that. One is, of course, privacy. The other is battery life. 
Well, the battery life is is uh, we've kind of mastered that. We figured out a way to, you know, to keep the battery use very low. Um, partially, it's because only a part of the display is on whenever that's happening. Uh, the privacy issue, you know, it. It's not. It's not trying to listen to you to figure out what you're doing. It's. It's only keyed off that, that little phrase there. So it's. It, my understanding was it's not sending anything back to Google until it hears. Okay, yes. Google. Now the phone knows what that looks like, the waveform, and then goes, Ah, I should right. now listen and send to Google what what he asks for. Um, I mean, in a sense, it's like you know, clicking on a button and turning it right. on. Right. Right. Um, I, I did not get a chance to play with it for more than an hour, so I have no idea what the battery life was like. But uh, I did observe that I looked at as many phones as I could, which is probably about eight. Every one of them had been off power for at least an hour, some an hour and a half. None of them were below 98%. Presumably they were all in that always-on listening mode because that was what was being demonstrated. So it does look like the always-on listening mode is a very small amount, small amount of battery yes. draw. Yes, yes. And there's, there's also a notification going on. So we take a small part of the display. Well, you can see it now, that small part of the display. And that's the only part of the display that we turn on for notification. And so what's going on with this notification is, you know, we, we found that a lot of people were checking their phone for the time because people don't wear watches anymore. And also they were checking to see if a new text message came in or, you know, something, a new email had come in. And so we made it with this notification that it'll tell you what time it is and if you have any net new messages text messages or email and it sort of breathes in and out it, it's not always on and the voice <laughs> it's it the display is not always on it breathes in and out so i don't have to touch it or wave at it as no. i would with another phone no. uh, and it's i think it's Samsung also does smart this. it knows that when it's in your pocket there's no sense in breathing on and showing the notifications and if that's it's upside another, down it doesn't do that also that's another very interesting part of this phone it's aware of where it is it's aware if you're driving yeah. it's aware if it's in a pocket if it's uh, if it's where it's upside down so if it's sitting on a on a desk next to you it will periodically kind of breathe that in the yes. time and show you the time and then and it, then fade out again it's, you know, that, Leo, I have to say, I don't want to admit this too publicly, but, you know, how many mil million viewers do you have? A couple? Yeah, So, sure, uh, <laughs> like, if you're in a boring meeting or you're in a boring dinner and, you know, you don't want to look, you know, you don't want to go like that and look at your watch and you don't want to pick up your phone and enter your pin to figure out what's going on, you can sort of leave your phone on the table and just glance at it. It'll breathe in. It'll tell you, yeah, it's 313 and, you know, you have text messages. Right. That's kind of cool. This is a super AMOLED display, and I, I will vouch for the quality of the display. Some people wanted a bigger screen. It's only 4.7 inches. That's, you know, that's about average nowadays for Android phones. Yeah. Uh, 720p, it is not the 1080p of the similarly sized HTC One. Um, but I have to say that uh, I didn't see any dots. It's, a, it's certainly a good enough quality screen for me. I, pres absolutely is. I presume that the reason for 720p is simply to make the, form the phone more responsive and to use less battery life. The more pixels absolutely, you push, yes. I mean, the there is the trade-off, and yeah. you know, if 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 the human eye cannot see the difference, you know, why take the the version that uses more battery? As long know? as we're going down specs, let me continue on. You can see we're looking at the colors. Uh, most carriers will have black or white in the mm -hmm. store. But AT&T has an exclusive, at least initially, yes. for the Motorola customization capabilities. 15 colors, not just the back, but also you see the, the metal accents. Those You can get different color choices on those. And this phone is made in the U.S., made in Texas, and uh, Motorola is promising a four-day turnaround from yes. ordering the phone on the website. And we went through the website. It was a, very, it was a nice experience customizing the phone uh, to getting well, the, the phone. In your hand. You know, there's there's the choice of the backs, there's the uh, the little frame around the lens, there's the sides with the buttons. Um, you can also you can link your phone, the phone that you're ordering, to your Gmail account, so it'll come pre-configured with your Gmail account. Uh, you can 
fix the wallpaper, uh, determine the wallpaper that's on the phone. Um, and you can also, you know, pick between 16 and 32 gigabytes. So you can do a fair amount of customization when you open up the box. It'll be, you know, Leo, I know you're going to get like a pink phone with yellow accents <laughs> and stuff. So. You know, I, we played with all sorts of colors and it's kind of hard to choose. I might have to get a couple. This website, the Moto Maker website also, does it allow engraving as well, Guy? Yes, yes, you're right. It, it'll, you can have it say, you know, designed by Leo. Yeah. Yeah, we actually said, Rich, you should also make available an American flag because it is made in America, and that's something to be uh, pretty happy about. Yes, Fort Worth, Texas. It's actually assembled in America, to be yeah. accurate. And all, many of the parts, of course, are uh, uh, sourced overseas. Uh, you, I don't think you could get 100% American phone. No. Even if you wanted one. Um, it, the processor in this uh, we know a little bit about because last week's Droid announcements also included this X8 uh, processor and that's yes. kind of the my understanding and I talked a lot with this with the technical guys is that's a little bit of the secret sauce in this it is a uh, an arm s4 pro in there but there's also two additional custom DSP chips in there yes I mean and and this this is to provide the magic of this always on and this notification uh, where you have dedicated processors uh, you know it so the idea you, is that the the main core chips are not actually doing anything while the DSP voice recognition is sitting there waiting for you to say something. Right. And so, you know, it's not so much the number of cores as much as right. <laughs> the totality of the experience. Right. And so we call this a, a, moto, a, mo <laughs> a mobile computing system as opposed to just counting cores. And that's one of the reactions that we're getting from the chat room and a lot of people around the, yeah. uh, on the press is this is a little bit disappointing in terms of raw specs. Uh, people hoped for, uh, you know, SD, there's no SD card slot. The battery mm -hmm. is fixed. Uh, the the processor, I think the processor is pretty impressive, but it's only dual core. It's not quad core. Um, is that right? Am I right on that? I think it's you are right. But then we have these other dedicated four chips, cores because so. there's two DSPs. But right. I think what's happening is and it's 720p. So in some ways, if if you're trying, if you're in a spec war with HTC or <laughs> Samsung, you're going to lose on specs, but I think what Motorola is focusing on here, and I have to vouch for this, is an experience. And I don't think anybody's yes. going to look at this, use this, and say, boy, it feels slow or that screen doesn't look great. Um, and uh, now let's go on well, with some of the details of customization. But Leo, I mean, yeah. you, I mean, you played with the phone. I, I don't think people are going to say it's slower. Never. And, you know, it doesn't feel good. I mean, there's no way. It, this, the, the totality, the zen, if you will, of the phone is very good. I, and, I, and that was my reaction. And I knew about the specs, and I did not feel like, boy, this is a low-spec phone. I have an HTC One, and I plan to replace it with the One X. All right, Leo, uh, you're my kind uh, of guy. Moto X. Yeah, no, I really... I, <laughs> and I'll tell you what I like about it is the always on. Now, I haven't seen a lot of talk about this. There's also, you, you mentioned the phone is aware of your context. Um, it, it also does things like unlocks. You can set it up to unlock when you're at home because yes. it sees the Wi Fi and says, oh, he's at home. Or when uh, you're in the car. Is that how it works? Uh, it sees Bluetooth. Bluetooth. You can authenticate with trusted Bluetooth devices. And there, and it is now, uh, Rich showed us a clip. Is it going to come with a clip? The clip, uh, not initially. Oh, so he showed us that, and then you pulled back on it, huh? Yeah. That's Just why I didn't see any press reports. Forget of it. you, man. Forget that you saw that. For <laughs> uh, not initially, but I think the idea in the clip was very, very good. It does have NFC. Yes. Not, but unlike the droids, it's there is no wireless charging, no Qi charging, right? Nope. Um, Let's see, what else? Oh, I know the big question for people. I was, uh, when we looked at it, it was 4.2.2 Android. Since then, Google's come out with 4.3. The phone will ship with 4.2.2, am I right? Yes, it will. Uh, it any will. any information about when 4.3 will be available? No, no information I can release right now, but, you know, just conceptually, let me give you a conceptual framework. We're trying to provide, like, a really pure Android experience so that, you know, when when Android comes out, Basically, every carrier jumps through hoops and tries to test all their apps and all their layers with it, and then they test and then they send it to their users, right? So the less you have to test, the faster you can get it out. Right. So that's kind of the underlying concept of what we're trying to do with this more pure Android experience. I saw the AT&T version, and there were only a couple of AT&T apps on there. 
It yeah. was very much a pure, uh, f you know, there was one Motorola or two Motorola, a couple of AT&T apps. It felt like a pure Google Experience phone. Uh, is there also going to be a Google Experience version of this? Uh, yes, there will be. Yes. So that's coming? You have a time that's frame? I don't have the time frame for that either, but it's coming. Um, and what is the time frame for release on the carriers? You mean which carriers are going to get them? Yeah, when? Which and when? Well, you mean when can someone actually go with them? I want to buy one. When can I buy one? Uh, a few weeks. Okay. We'd seen a, a leak uh, from one when, of the... When can Leo Laporte buy one? No, I know when I can get one, but I'm getting one tomorrow. <laughs> In fact, we'll do an unboxing and show it to you on Saturday on the radio show. But... Uh, um, it's going to be in all the carriers in the U.S. How about international release? We saw Rogers' video. Yes, Rogers in Canada. Uh, well, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm going on a. You'll love this. I'm going on a tour for Motorola, where I'm going to go to uh, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, Peru, Mexico, and Chile. Wow. So I'm not going there to, you know, <laughs> yeah. for a tan. So this so. is this is going to be an international phone. Yeah. Um, uh, let me think of some. Okay, and it is going to be Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint, all four. Mm -hmm. um, and available roughly the same time frame for all four carriers? Yes. Okay. And and it's this month? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, this month is August. Yeah, roughly this month. <laughs> yeah, in, in August. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to have to wait too long. Is the Moto Maker site going to be available this month? Shortly, yes. Yes. In fact, uh, in about, let's see, it's 3.20. In about half an hour... I am going to do a Hangout on Air, if you go to my Google Plus profile, where the product manager, the guy that you met, John Rinaldi, is going to do a, um, uh, a walkthrough of the site, just like what you got. Right. It's quite, it's quite useful. Uh, it's quite an intriguing thought. You, know, that you can just walk through this process and pick the colors, pick your wallpaper, pick your configuration, press and... It's, it comes to you uh, with a, a, the SIM card in it, and you authorize it, and boom, you're off and running. That's nice. Yeah. 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 Um, the price, we, do you have prices? Uh, it was $199 for the, you know, with the two-year commitment. That's, that's, that's across, all, across the board. Yeah. Is the, what is the off-contract off price? Is there one? Oh, I've, I, honestly, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I... I kind of looked at it from my perspective which is what i would do right which is the 199 i'm sorry i don't i just don't know that you know they gave me a uh ballpark figure uh at our event but they didn't know the exact price uh -huh. they said it's going to be typical so um, assume can, somewhere around 600 you. bucks i just don't have it off the tip of my yeah head. yeah um at and t's is 579 according to the verge uh okay. for the 16 gigabytes the 32 is only available from moto maker that means currently only from AT&T. That exclusivity, is that going to last for how long? Uh, I can't discuss that either, but it's not permanent. The, you it's know, not permanent. Obviously, yeah. we want everybody Because we all to want be, that. Yeah, we yeah, all want to be able to do that. But I understand yes. sometimes you have to give an ex exclusivity. Yes. So it's not a low-cost phone. It's not a Nexus 4 in that sense. Does Google intend to make this, though, the next Nexus? Uh that's above my pay grade, Leo. What can I... <laughs> I, you know I was going to ask you all the hard questions. I know. That's, that's why I have to tell you I have to go right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. These are the questions the, uh, the, the, uh, our audience wants, wants to know. Um, in fact, I'm watching well, the chat room. A, uh, you have a particularly very, very tech audience, right? So. Would you say this is aimed at that, that guy or is it aimed more at a, a, a more a general, say, an iPhone uh, buying Audience. Well, I think mean, this is a mainstream phone. I mean, it's you know, it, it, it's for. I mean, look at the colors that are involved, right? I mean, right. You know, tell me your experience. How long have you been using the uh, fifteen colors, by the way? And and you can multiply I think the numbers. It's Seventeen. Seventeen is it? Oh wow! And you can multiply the numbers because that's just that's the color of the back, but also you have colors yeah. for trim, uh, and so forth. Um, I I always worry about battery non-removable batteries. One of the reasons I use the Galaxy S4 instead of the HTC One is because I want to be able to have three batteries and pop it in. This will not have a removable battery. Neither did the Nexus Four. Neither does the HTC One. Doesn't does bother me if I get good battery life. So, what has your experience been? You've had it for I'm sure some months, right? Oh, I, I get more than a day. Okay. Uh, 
That's all I care but, about. Can you get you know, through a day of use with all of that stuff and you're looking at stuff and using it? Well, I mean, that's the hard part, you know, because it's not like I'm purposely not doing stuff. I mean, it. I, I, I can only give you sort of personal experience. I can't give you Yeah, because everybody uses it differently and, yeah. uh, and we don't have benchmarks, right? Right, right. So when you get up in the morning, you unplug it at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m., Mm -hmm. And you get through to the, you don't have to charge it again until you go to bed. Well, most days. But see, I, you know, out of force of habit, I just plug whenever I can. Yeah, right? so I, that we don't really know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that's I've never done a test test. But right. Whenever it's convenient, I plug it in, and um, because but I also have this this Motorola has this great accessory called a P four thousand, which is this external battery. You got one that that couple of weeks ago, right? Yes. So that is such a useful thing. Right. So I've never done this truly scientific test to okay. tell you, but yeah. uh, battery life has not been an issue. Uh, That's what everybody me. who My uses the HTC One tells me: just carry around a battery. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So <laughs> I have to say, based on what I've read about the X8, I'm hopeful that we can get some remarkably good battery time. Motorola is quoting 24 hours of, of uh, standby time. Yeah. Uh, what was it? 10 hours of talk time. That's that's a good long time, so I'm hoping it is, in fact, accurate. If it is accurate, uh, then the battery life is not going to be an issue. Well, Leo, I, I haven't talked 10 hours on a cell phone in a month. I mean, I just... Yeah, actually, it's 13 <laughs> hours, so, yeah. yeah. I never... I, how often do you talk on a cell phone? I never talk never, on a cell phone. Never, I never... Well, that, and that's why... This is exactly why it's so hard to say how long a phone's going to last. Yeah. Because I don't ever make phone calls, but I text a lot. I play yeah. a lot of games, and uh, I'm always browsing through Flipboard. And screen time is, of course, an issue. I think one of the reasons for the AMOLED uh, screen, uh, it makes a lot of sense. Um, uh, let's see. What other questions? Chat room, if there's any questions I've left out for a guy with Kawasaki. We're talking about the Moto X announced today. <laughs> uh, not available yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll be in the month of August on all four carriers in the U.S., I had seen a story that Ting, one of our sponsors, will also be uh, offering the Moto X, which would be great news. What do you know anything about UK availability or Australian availability? No, I'm a lot sorry, of... I don't. Okay, I don't. That's um, fine. I've been so heads down, you know, U.S. marketing. Honestly, right, uh, right. You should have um, had a better. You should have had a better guest. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> does Google Wallet work on it? Do you know that offhand? I haven't tried. Okay. I don't see why not. Uh, right. Um. Well, because there's a lot of phones it doesn't work on. I'm going to guess that that's, uh, well, I mean, that that's carrier specific, as opposed to f hardware specific. Well, but also, you know, we are part of Google. I mean, right. So, uh, it is a uh, 10 megapixel camera. I was very impressed yes. with the low light performance of the camera. It's yes. using uh, a Kodak technology called what is it? Clear Pixel. Yeah, it's clear pixels and it's also larger pixels. So, you know, a lot of people simplistically think that the key to great photographs is the megapixels, but it's you know more complex than that. Right. And of course, the more megapix, the more pixels you have, the more battery is used. So th there's a lot of trade-offs. I uh, until I started working in Motorola, I had no idea. It's so complex. There's I a know. lot. Of, when you're on the inside, wow, you really appreciate the complexity of what goes into a phone. My God. By the way, I want people on the, on the image that you're seeing right now to notice how far the screen goes. There's very little bezel on the left and right. And so mm -hmm. the phone, even though it's a 4.7-inch display, which is fairly large, does not feel big at all. It's, uh, and I think that there was an intent to do that uh, yep. with the phone. Uh, We're there are very some, proud of that. Yeah. Now, the, the, it is not a uh, Google Experience camera. It has a specific camera for Motorola. One of the things it does is slow motion video, which I played with. It was very impressive. Um, did, did you do the burst where you hold down the button? Yeah. And it goes, ta, 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 ta. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's yeah. a good, my experience, and it was brief, and you can see it looks very much like uh, a Google Experience phone. There's very little to differentiate, to say, oh, this, there's no moto blur on it. Um, I, I would say you're going to see very, it's going to seem very much like a Google Experience phone. Um, but the question is, will there be an unlocked phone from Google? And, and your answer is yes on that. Yes. Okay. Uh, without an exact date for availability. Um, so, Leo, I got to go. I know. I'm going to let you go. I'm so sorry. No, no. You got much to do. If people want to see more, see the Moto Micro site at work. 
Uh, there are accessories on the site, and you'll be able to see what those accessories are. Go follow Guy Kawasaki, circle him on Google Plus, and uh, the Hangout starting in moments on Google Plus. All right. Thank you, Guy Kawasaki. Thank you, Leo. Always a pleasure. Always good to talk to you. Thank you Take for inviting care, me man. to your party. I'm sorry I was so blabbermouth about it, but I did keep this NDA under my you hat. Did. It, it practically killed me, but I did. <laughs> Better than Scoble <school> did. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Of course, that's not saying that much. <laughs> you knew when you invited him. You knew. Yeah. Uh, we okay, appreciate buddy. it. Thank See you, later. guy. Take care. Thank um, you. Bye -bye. I'm going to give you a little bit more about my impressions of this in just a second. Uh, but first, a word from Slingbox, our best break news coverage always brought to you by Slingbox, the best way to get your TV on your Moto X, on your iPad, on your laptop, on any mobile device. It literally puts your TV on the Internet and with no additional charge. Once you get the apps, once you get the Slingbox, Watch all you want. There's no monthly fee, no special programming packages. If you can get it at home, you can get it on the road, you can get it in the bathroom, you can get it in the kitchen, you can get it anywhere. You can go with your mobile devices. The Slingbox 500 has built-in Wi-Fi, HDMI connectivity, full 1080p. It turns your portable device into a, a personal television, and it is awesome. Watch your TV anywhere. Visit slingbox.com slash twit or pick up a Slingbox. You'll find them at Amazon and Best Buy. And, of course, Slingbox.com. Uh, so I played with a couple of carrier versions of the uh, Moto X. Uh, they were very similar. There's, uh, I, uh, the things I liked about the Moto X, the lack of carrier cruft, the generally uh, pure Google experience. Again, the camera's not uh, Google, but it's very Google-y. You can very much see the influence of Google on this phone. In fact, it, it, I've never been a fan of the droids. I've carried a Droid X for a long time, but uh, these, these are not... Droids. These are very much a, a, a separate, a new kind of Motorola phone. Um, uh, my experience with the way the phone listens to you, the way it relates to you, it is very natural. And I think it's the kind of thing uh, people will, once they start using it, become almost dependent upon. Uh, performance on this phone, um, I think people are maybe a little concerned that it's not a quad core, but it is four cores, two DSPs and the dual core S4 is very, very good, very, very uh, fancy. Um, I think a lot of people uh, are, seem to be disappointed by the fact that it is not a high-spec phone. I think there are good high-spec phones out there. I think this is a very compelling, solid phone based on features alone. Uh, but I will have a full review for you. They have promised to send us a unit. We're going to have it tomorrow. And I will play with it through the weekend and Monday and then have a full review for you on Before You Buy. Uh, on Tuesday um, in terms of that. There were apparently some features that I saw that Guy said I, they didn't include. We saw a, um, a clip that you could uh, put on a, uh, anywhere, put on a, a visor in your car on a, on a pocket and swipe the phone in the clip. There was a magnet in the clip that would wake up the phone and then an NFC chip that would unlock the phone. Um, apparently, they've decided not to ship that with this initial product. Not sure why. But they do have uh, a very interesting technique using um, authenticated Bluetooth devices. When the phone, for instance, gets in the car and unlocks because it knows it's in the car, it knows it's... Uh, if you turn this on, it knows it's uh, uh, in something, you know, with you. Same thing in your house. So I think there are some things you can do that are very uh, cool about it. Um, 4.3, I am sure, will be released very quickly on this. It's pretty clear to me that Google really wants to push this as much as it can as a pure Google phone. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, and I, uh, I tell you what, we'll talk about it on Tuesday. I'll give you my recommendation, pro or con. I, uh, I, for me, the one thing that the jury's still out on is battery life. If the battery life is good, um, I think this will be a, a, my replacement for my HTC One and my S4, but we shall see. Um, so I thank you for joining us. I thank Guy Kawasaki. That's all the information on the uh, Moto X. I don't think we've left anything out, certainly everything I knew. Uh, and I uh, hope you will uh, join us on Tuesday for Before You Buy for my full review.